Welcome back. Dragon Age Origins is upon you. Uh, I just now realized Luglug's about to level 22 all of a sudden. I must have got a huge boost of experience there. We just gonna all attack separately and okay. I guess I'm Lug Lug. That's fine by me. I do things. Yeah. Look at all my badass dudes. I guess I wonder if I would have equipped everyone better if they do better here in the battle. I don't know how scripted this is. But they're definitely wearing Same armor I left him Morgan, Morgan's over here helping me. Sure, I'll hold the four guys. <laughs> what the fuck? Did they just keep coming? I just doesn't even know what to do. I'll get up. Too easy. I'll stop. Watch it or I run. Not I for a little bloodletting I see. Kill them all. What's well, updated? You secure the city gates by killing the dark spawn that had masked it. You should speak with Riordan to see what your next move should be. Okay. Fair enough. You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. That will change quickly. Bloody nug runners are outnumbered three to one. The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. Why so small a group? A large group is only going to draw attention. And I think I know what we need to do. We're going to need to reach huh? a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... You want to draw the dragon's attention? We have little choice. Though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast, it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. If they're going to help the Archdemon, I guess that would be best. Besides, killing those generals will save innocent lives. They may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. Do you know what the generals are? Neither of them are near Fort Draken currently. But there are too many Darkspawn here to tell you more. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them. Their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? Not Alistair. Yes. I think 
Get my posse, man. What's wrong with you? Pigeon crap. Yes. Indeed. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? Alistair can do that. I'd rather be going after the Archdemon. But all right. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. Well, this is it, Warden. When from the blood of battle the stone is fed, but the heroes prevail and the blighters lie dead. <laughs> it's one of the blighters. Wait, do I have to take Alistair so he can sacrifice himself? Shit! Show them our hearts, and then show them theirs. So the Archdemon is next, is it? I would not have thought I would say this, but I am glad I am going with it. Perhaps we are not completely doomed. My chances are better with the golem at my side. I suppose it does mean it will have something to hide behind when the dragon breathes its flames, yes. Let us try to get through this without my being rendered into so many pulverized pebbles, yes? Or eaten by the dragon. It might give passing a stone or new meaning, but I don't want to be there for it. Oh well, enough talking. There is a burning city to invade, or something. You be a good boy, you hear? Are you ready? We have reached the battlefield at last. This is it! The Arashok asked, what is the Blight? I stand here looking into its eyes, and still I have no answer for him. But perhaps you do. You have carried us this far. Do not doubt that. So now we head into the city together to face the Archdemon, hmm? Good. I was nearly afraid you were about to march inside without me. We cannot have that. Let us go and teach this dragon a lesson, yes? It should have stayed in whatever hole it crawled out of. So I'm not going with you, I see. Any particular reason? Because I don't like you? I thought maybe you might need another Grey Warden when you find the Archdemon. But have it your way. He makes a good point. I, know we have a lobby. <laughs> I don't know if uh, and be I might be better off with Alistair, to be honest. But for now, I'll tell him to piss off. So we head into the city together. As it should be. Once this is done, no matter how it turns out, I will be gone. You are aware of this, yes? Then let me thank you now for what you've done! There is far more I might have done for you had this been another time and we been different people. Allow me to say only one thing before we go. I was foolish. This could have been so much easier, yet I... I cannot regret what was between us. Most I women don't. always remember you, my love. Now, let us see this finally done. The Archdemon awaits. Are we done talking? Thank God. But see, the entire city is overrun. Man, they didn't give these guys any nice fucking XP. Okay, so the question is, is do I need to take Alistair? Because I'm not letting Lug Lug sacrifice his... He's got a lot of adventures he's, he needs to stay alive for in the future. Alright, I've decided to stick with the... Stick with my band of evil adventurers here. We're going to end up sacrificing uh, the baby, right? Or possessing the baby's soul anyways. Final battle. Kill those godless bastards! We're counting on you, Warden. You guys ain't coming with me? Make her watch over you. I'm 
Market District. Here we come. No end to these blasted things. Stay on contact. Seriously, gonna leave Lug Lug all by himself and shit. Um, moving my shit around here. Tank or what? Yeah, exactly. Make some potions there. Getting crafty with it. Make some more greater. We got some potent. I didn't get the recipe for um, the potent health, unfortunately. I see now the error in my ways. Okay, we should have be good on lyrium and health via herbalism. Thank you, Morgan. This allows you to select armies to be deployed in specific areas. Each army is represented by an icon and a number that shows how many combatants comprise the army. Each army can be deployed only once, and only a single army can be active in one area. If this army has been defeated in an area, you will be able to deploy another army. No idea what the fuck that means.
that guy is... We're gonna need a fucking general to beat that guy, I guess. I don't know I'm fucking up over here. Armies. Can only deploy them once though. I don't want to save them all for the end. Bringing down uh, ogres will be all right. He don't like her. Get off me, dog. God damn it. Probably supposed to be using my army there. Let's try it out. Slow your roll, mister. He was fine to kill a Darkspawn general last scene at the Elven Alienage, and we've killed the one at the market. Okay. Guess this helps us. Corruption. Across 42 strength. Plus 75 spear resistance. Yeah. Might want to use that against the boss, maybe. Possibly. Remind me to put that on Lug Lug. By the way, do I have a... Hopefully I don't need to reload back too early. I'm going to make a backup save here. These guys are going to follow me?
See, my, go my golems didn't come with me. You, it's you. The Maker sure gave you the gift of good timing, didn't he? There's a large group of Darkspawn approaching and the gates won't hold. We need your help. I need you to fight with me. Fight? But, but we have no armor and only you know, bow and arrow. Weapons. We'll be slaughtered. This is your home. Protect your families. The stranger is right. We have to do something. Yes, if we can hold them back, it'll give others a chance to escape. Tell us what to do, and we'll fight for as long as we can. Defend the gate! Keep them from getting through! You heard what he said. Come on. They're upon us! Dude, ah. you guys are late as fuck to the party. Motherfucker, go. battle.
Stop the Darkspawn trying to invade the Elven Alien, and the nails will be safe for now. We'll talk to Shin na 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 na. Now we go. Lug Lug hit level 22. We look at that. Finish up your warrior tier, Lug Lug. You are an accomplished warrior. And Berserker, if I might add. We didn't lose any golem that time. Yeah, why not? Let's max out our inventory again. What's the point of having all these backpacks if I can't end the game maxed out? At the end of this video, which is going to be soon, we are going to go over... Ooh, three potent Lyrian potions. Me fucking likey likey. Uh, we will go over the equipment. What the fuck? Well, probably ain't shit. Well, let's go talk to Shana na 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 na. Shana na na. We did it! I. I didn't think it was possible. You've given us a chance to get anything to is possible if you try, Shana. I will never be able to thank you enough. Please. Take this. I pray it helps you in your coming battles. We have to go. May the Maker watch over you. Couple more levels, we'll take it. We're doing a ritual with Morgan. We have a child that's going to become a vessel for the essence of an old god! <laughs> She gives us the Dawn Ring, which is plus four strength, but minus one cunning. Yeah, I mean, I don't need cunning, but I'm wearing Life Giver. So, let's level up here. Shale. Actually, there you go. Seems legit. You don't have anything else to choose from. You don't even have the dexterity to take that. We don't want you to have that anyways. Is everyone pumping that all into dexterity, buddy? For obvious reasons. There's your match master archer. Don't fucking let me down, son. Shale, I don't know what to tell you, bitch. Um, you can't take anything. You need more talents. Landmark tree. It's for the dog to piss on, so... That's why we didn't deal with any landmark trees. Serious? Where's the exit? I'm gonna piss on the tree now. Let's go over our inventory here. For in game reasons, this is it. So we do have uh, Ageless, the Dark Spawn Sword, equipped second. Primary weapon is, of course, the Summer Sword. 
With 45 physical resistance, chance to knock back and fire damage. Wearing the Helm of Honolith, plus two dollar tribute, plus three armor. And then of course wearing the Dragon Bone plate that I've been wearing the past several videos. Got the Dwarven Warrior's Belt, plus one strength, one armor, not special. Plus one constitution, but plus 15 healing effects received. And I looked this up, healing effects received does stack. So heals on Lug Lug are 45% I believe now, 30, yeah. 15% from that, 20% from that, and 10% from that. So Life Giver gives us 10 constitution, regeneration for health, 3 armor, 20% healing effects. This gives us 10% healing effects, plus 4 spell resistance, and plus 2 dollar tributes. So Lug Lug is ready to do some tanking himself. For the final, final battle, we are going to, I guess we can go ahead and do it now. Since uh, the Archdemon is spirit, we will attack with nature, and we will dis de defend with a uh, large flawless spear crystal. That'll give her plus one to attributes, 40 spear resistance, 12 spell resistance, 15 mental resistance. Her attack will do 22% nature damage. Because her plus four constitution, plus four health regeneration. Seven, we will. Uh, I don't actually have any nature arrows. But we got some elf flight arrows. Oh, there we go. Arrows of filth. Plus three nature damage. We'll be using those when the time comes. I guess we can go ahead and fucking throw on some fire arrows for now. Start using that. Uh, Zevrin is using Alon Din's Reach, the bow we've been using since the beginning. He's pretty much the same. He has the Kadash Stompers, uh, mixed metal rounds, plus two dexterity. I gave him a Magister's Shield that um, Morgan was wearing, so now he has plus six defense. Negative nature resistance, that's okay, but he has a chance to avoid missile attacks, which is helpful. He has the Harvest Festival Ring, which Lug Lug was wearing. Two strength, two dex, four attack, and he has Frost Shear. Add some cold damage to his attacks. I can go ahead and use that now. Who do I want to give that to? No, I don't want to destroy that. Uh, Lug Lug definitely doesn't need it. She can't use it. Um, Shale doesn't need it. Zevran's the only one that'll get any use out of it. Song of Distraction or. Probably another archery shot. At least I kind of just wanted to use Song of Valor. Go crippling. Last but not least, Morgan is using Winter's Breath, Dragon's Bone, the Libertarian's Cowl, plus 12 defense and mana regeneration. Storm Talon gloves give her electricity bonus. Oh, I did pick up uh, Shock when I went up with Morgan's level. Caster's hands are up with a cone of lightning, damaging all targets in the area, so we give her some more electrical damage. She's wearing the robes of possession, which give her cold damage. Spell resistance, defense, and magic. The Magus War Boots, plus 12 defense. I gave her the Destruction of Spell, which gives her spell power, mana regeneration during combat. This is the new necklace that I bought her. Plus 5 willpower, plus 8 regeneration while exploring. Plus 30% spell resistance, 10% dodge attacks, and chance to avoid missile attacks as well. She's also wearing the Ring of Ages, which gives her plus 20 resistance against everything. And extra electrical damage with the Dalish Battery Ring. So anyways, that's the party. We still had 75 gold left over. Here's a quick, slow, but quick look at the ending quest items. Nothing of any consequence in here. Our potions. Leftover items. And I have to put corruption on. 
<laughs> It'll give me some serious spear resistance. Alright folks, that wraps it up. See you soon.